Hello and welcome to Dentrix Does It. In this video, I'll show you how to use the Procedure Log Report utility to track completed procedures. These instructions will work well in Dentrix G3 and newer, although this feature has been available in many previous versions. I will be demonstrating using Dentrix G6. And remember, to get the most out of this report, you will need to view the data in a spreadsheet application, such as Microsoft Excel. When you use the Procedure Log Report utility, you will generate a report with procedures, payments, and adjustments completed within a certain date range. The report will detail the procedure date and entry date, billing type, guarantor name, patient name, procedure code, procedure description, tooth number and surface where applicable, amount charged per procedure, rendering provider, and optionally, the primary insurance carrier and secondary insurance carrier. So let's get to it. To generate the report, browse to the local Dentrix folder. Now, the easiest way to do this is to right-click one of your Dentrix icons that are on the desktop, and then choose Open File Location. Locate the file underscore PROCLRPT. Double-click the file to open the utility. Click Generate Report. Enter the desired date range. Select whether you want the results filtered by entry date or procedure date. Now if you're unsure, look in the YouTube description of this video for another video that explains the difference. You can narrow down the results to specific providers and or billing types, but I like to leave these set to all. You'll see in a moment how easy it is to filter this kind of data when you get to the spreadsheet. Mark ledger transactions only. Optionally, select whether you'd like to include insurance information. Click OK. The report will begin to generate. Now, if everything works well, the file will automatically open in Windows Notepad. However, it is common in some versions of Dentrix that you'll receive an error message saying, cannot execute Word or Excel. Should this happen, just click OK to that message, and I'll show you right now how you could find that file and open it for yourself. The file will be located in your Letter Templates folder. You can verify where that is on your network by opening Office Manager, Maintenance, Practice Setup, Preferences, and then click the Paths tab. Now once you know what this folder is, go ahead and open it up, and you'll find a subfolder named Exports. In here, you'll find the file, which is named procrpt.txt. With the information open in Windows Notepad, choose Edit, Select All, and then choose Edit, Copy. Next, open up Excel, or any other spreadsheet application if you have something different, and select Paste. Once the information is pasted into a spreadsheet, use the Sort or Filter options that are available. So before we go any further with sorting or filtering, it will be very important that you click your mouse into one of the cells that contain data. If your cell is selecting one of the headers of the report, sorting or filtering will probably not work. Let's look at basic sorting. From the data ribbon, choose Sort. For example, I'll choose to sort by the procedure codes. Scroll down and locate the desired codes, which are all now displayed in alphanumeric order. Similarly, you can resort that information by any of the other headings, such as date, patient name, provider, or even insurance plan. You can also use the more powerful filter option. Click the data tab on the command ribbon. In the sort and filter section, select filter. Now with filter, drop down arrows appear to the right of each of the columns. For example, click on the drop down arrow next to procedure. In the selection box here, turn off the select all option and then proceed to check only the boxes of the procedure codes that you want to view. Now you can combine filters. 
So I could go to the provider and choose just a specific provider who performed those specific procedures that I asked for in the first filter. And this way, you can narrow down the results to get exactly what you're looking for. And that's how Dentrix does it. For more tips and training, please visit the Online Resource Center.